Speed, agility, and resilience. These are not only the buzzwords of our industry today, but they are really the competencies that would help Unilever to differentiate the way we go to market and to drive growth. With high disruption from challenges such as COVID, and also the emergence of e-commerce, which is driving much of the growth for Unilever, we really need to think differently as a business about how we plan, execute, and innovate in order to keep that competitive edge. Today, I'm extremely delighted to be joined by John Sicard, who is the CEO of Canaxis, and who is a great partner with us on deploying their rapid response technology to help us drive an agile and responsive supply chain. So John, thanks for joining me. Do you want to share a few of your thoughts on agility and how you see Unilever team leveraging Canaxis and rapid response? The supply chain governance models right now are shifting. Uh, perhaps COVID was the catalyst, but there's definitely a movement towards agility uh, versus accuracy, or at least in combination with accuracy. I think there's been almost a mad obsession for the last couple of decades on, on accuracy across uh, all of the functions of supply chain. And it's been at the expense of agility. Today, people are realizing that improving your speed and agility and alignment is what builds resilience. And uh, boards today are asking, well, they're asking their companies, how are you gonna become more resilient over time? Now at Canaxis, we've moved away from that legacy kind of cascaded approach to planning and we've moved into what we call concurrent planning, essentially inextricably connecting all of the elements of supply chain, all the elements of planning in one uh, heterogeneous environment. And by doing that, it's like putting everybody around the exact same kitchen table. Everybody can hear each other. Everybody is seeing exactly the same thing. And by definition, that breeds speed, that breeds alignment. And ultimately that's what is driving agility and the end result is resilience. And as you know, the other thing we think about very keenly at Unilever is about our impact on the planet. And while we have a lot of factors contributing to the way we operate our supply chain, we are always looking to minimize our waste in supply chain. So it would be good to hear, John, your point of view in terms of the capabilities that Kinaxis and Rapid Response bring to us in terms of ensuring that while we face a lot of volatility in the market, we are also able to be precise and agile in our planning and execution. I think people are realizing that there is no other practice I can think of that has a more profound impact on the health of the planet. If we could squeeze out 20% more efficiency globally, uh, you know, across every supply chain, the earth will thank us. So that is why I think there's, a, there's an increased focus on building hyper agility in a supply chain and alignment, because frankly, most of the waste that is created, whether it's buffer inventory, safety stock, all of those elements, those types of buffers and waste were, are basically produced to absorb volatility. Well, there's another way to, to absorb volatility in, in supply chain, and that's becoming hyper agile. And I think that's where the two meet, and that's why it's, it's just such an exciting time for the craft right now. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more. It's uh, quite profound, I think, the impact that we can have in supply chain on the overall impact of the business. Just thinking then, John, about as our people who are using this new technology, it's quite a big shift from them to move away from the obsession with accuracy through to moving with agility. And we talk a lot within Unilever about the new skills our people have to acquire and that we need to support them, for example, with scenario-based planning and also letting the machine lead us to where we need to focus but also on where the value comes from and what are the decisions we need to make both to drive growth while also impacting waste. And we saw during the supply chain disruptions uh, how Kinaxis and Rapid Response really helped us to make those concurrent decisions between demand spikes and supply shortages that we had. So John, what do you think it is about our unique partnership that we've really brought out the best of each other in terms of dealing with some of these big challenges? Well, I think people look at, at companies like Unilever, and I often use this as an example, that uh, companies like Unilever are serving billions of humans every day with necessities, necessities of life. And so it's, it's natural, I think, that companies like Unilever would be leaders here. They would be leading ahead of the pack 
in driving what the future governance models will look like. I'm, I'm thrilled to be partnering because for sure, uh, leaders such as Unilever are they're pushing boundaries and they're thinking about the next 30 years. They're thinking about what will the next generation of supply chain practitioners be doing and how will they be working? And we're establishing those, those standards right now. Um, so I, I'm, I'm thrilled to be part of this journey for sure. I think that we bring about uh, some technological prowess and Unilever brings about some procedural and process prowess. We bring those two together and magic happens. Yes, John, so lots to think about for us in the next decade as we look ahead. As we think about what's coming next to help Unilever in fulfilling ever-changing customer needs and consumer needs, what do you think about in terms of the next generation of technology capabilities coming ahead? Well, I think the next generation, and to some extent it's beginning right now, is leveraging machine learning and, and what I'll call automated intelligence to automate the obvious transactions that today we rely on humans to do. You know, they're, they're spending their energy and their time implementing transactions that are completely obvious. And, and so that's wasteful. Uh, that's another area of waste. And so I think in the future, we're gonna to start to see the technology weigh in and take, you know, take those transactions away, if you will, and automate them. They're obvious. Now, I think that, that really comes into play in a concurrent model where every transaction can be tested in both directions. You'll understand what, what the implications of every transaction um, is going to be in advance. And what that, by, by achieving that, you'll be surfacing the 20% work that, that people will be focused on which require human judgment. And, and what we call scenario planning as, as we do today with, with Unilever and running trade-off analysis to understand what is truly the best decision for the business. It isn't necessarily the mathematical optimal. Sometimes those are viewed as academically interesting, but humans would decide, no, that's really not the right thing to do when you're dealing with compromise. So I think that's where the future is, is headed leveraging machine learning and automated intelligence to ultimately automate the obvious. That's great, John. Uh, thanks for that. And well, clearly exciting times ahead for both of our organizations and both of our teams. Um, thank you for joining us today. And I really look forward to the partnership ahead. <laughs>